This is young Johnny. He had a lot of issues, especially with his hair. So today I'm gonna show you all the mistakes I made when it comes to my hair. As soon as you finish this video, I promise you, you can make improvements today. So this is why you look bad in your haircut. Let's get it. Okay, so this is objectively true. Johnny was like Franklin with that yee yee ass haircut. Maybe you got rid of that old yee yee ass haircut you got, you get some b****s on your several of them actually which is why you guys always saw me constantly in headwear not because my hair was thinning or anything i just didn't know what to do with my hair so reason number one why your hair looks bad is you probably don't have a barber or you don't know how to guide your barber which was me so when it comes to your barber you want to be able to guide them in the right direction that way they can give their input back to you and you can do that when you understand barber terminology like just think about it like this if you walk into a car dealership and you just want a car they'll sell you anything but if you walk into the dealership saying you want a reliable car that also looks good they're probably going to recommend the camry so the best thing that you can do is understand the names of different haircuts and understand terminology like a lineup skin taper skin fade layering it's just a win-win for everyone the barber's going to know what to do you're going to get a better haircut and if the barber knows what to do but they have some better feedback you guys will be able to work that out together now the problem with me was i was cutting my own hair for years but i kind of had to i was living in new york city there was plenty of times where I was struggling financially and thinking about how to be able to get groceries for the week. It's a, it's a rough feeling. So whenever I cut my own hair, I save about $200 a month after tip. I knew a few techniques. I was pretty good at a skin fade, but the problem was I was doing my skin fade way too high. So my haircut lost shape and I also didn't really know how to cut the top of my hair. Now, reason number two is you just don't understand your hair type. Whenever people hear hair type, they probably just think straight or curly. There's much more to it. What's your hair density like? Is it thick? Is it thin? Is your hair oily? or is it dry? If you can't answer those questions, you should probably consult with a barber. Now, when it comes to Asian hair, it's actually one of the hardest hairs to cut. You get stabbed a lot, typically straight, very pointy. But fortunately for me, my hair is naturally wavy and people pay to get a perm so they can have my hair texture. But the problem is it gets very dry. And I've tested almost everything. I went several days without shampooing my hair. Then I went a week. Then I went a whole month without shampooing my hair. It was gross, but my hair still looked dry. I've tried sleeping with a silk pillowcase, a leave-in conditioner. And so after experimenting with all that and being able to understand my hair i know the best look for my hair is when it has a slightly wet look now some of you have naturally wavy nice beautiful hair and you probably want to go for that natural look they make products for all of those hair types curl creams if you got curly hair clays waxes creams and for that shiny look i've come to realize that pre-styling my hair is the most important part of my routine which is why i use bloomon the sponsor of today's video so let's talk about pre-styling which is the next reason why my hair looked horrendous and so i'm going to take you through my hair routine and we're going to use some bloom on products here's what happens when i don't use a pre-style it's a puffy mess now fortunately every hair type can benefit from pre-styling so what is pre-styling well this is going to be the foundation for your hair that provides that texture the volume and thickness that you're looking for and it also gives you much more control of your hair throughout the day so my biggest problem i would just shove the heat directly on my hair basically microwaving it and that would just cause more dryness damage and frizziness but this pre-styler from bloom on is meant to protect your hair from heat while setting the foundation. I like to mix their rebound and their ascend volume cream. Then I'm gonna grab a dime size amount and apply it directly to my towel dried hair. And yeah, these two products smell lovely. It has a lemony scent, one for hydration and one for a heat protectant because we're gonna have to apply some heat to the hair. And then I'm gonna use this attachment to brush through my hair when I'm hair drying it. And as you can see, it's already starting to become well tamed, not too poofy and the texture's starting to come through. You can see that it has a good foundation and you just need to use a finishing product. So as our post styling products remember i require that slightly shiny look so that is why i love their pomade and there is the final products the hair is nicely set has some nice texture malleable which is the biggest pro that a lot of people don't know about when it comes to pre-styling if your hair gets messed up because you pre-styled it all you have to do is work your hands through your hair and you can get it looking back to normal back in the day if my hair got messed up i would just have to redo the whole entire hair routine so that is why you should be pre-styling your hair i've been using their products for over the past year i started off with this sample pack found out exactly what worked best with me which was the pomade and i see y'all in the comments y'all been complimenting that you guys love johnny flow era i appreciate that my girl loves the longer hair all my friends like the longer hair so blue mom products are easy to work into your hair they've been used by over 150,000 customers with thousands of four and a half to five star reviews it's definitely changed my hair game and i would highly recommend y'all head over to blue mom and all you have to do is click that first link down in the description once again 
head over to Bluemon. Just click that first link down in the description if you want to support the channel. Thank you guys in advance for being supporters and thank you Bluemon for sponsoring this video. Now the next reason is you're just too afraid of change. And this is a problem because there's a study out there that says two thirds of men are going to experience male pattern baldness by the age of 35. That is a crazy statistic. So while you have it, why not try as many hairstyles as you can? Right now I have a modern style mullet going on, not everyone's preference, but I'm gonna change that, especially on my wedding day I'm definitely gonna cut this off but ideally you want to have the goal of going really short or going really long and so in between that journey you want to try different haircuts that lead you to the other side because the reason why people don't want to make a huge change is because it's a huge change you want your hair to grow gradually into it so let's just say you're starting off with long long hair why not cut it shorter to a wolf cut it's still pretty long but you have a different hairstyle then you can go to a middle parts or just a general medium length haircut then maybe a brush back or a side parts and then eventually a buzz cut if you want to you can stop anywhere you want and vice versa if you're starting with the buzz cut you just got to do the reverse you can't say you don't like a certain hairstyle on you until you try it now that's for those if you still have hair for those that have thinning hair there are solutions to mitigate that there's finasteride and minoxidil and then eventually you can do a hair transplant which i would totally do if i lose my hair now the next reason why your hair looks bad is you're going through an awkward phase and you don't know how to mitigate that so i gave most of the reason away from the last segment and that is to have different hairstyles in between so if you want to avoid that Lord Farquaad look, there are a lot of techniques that you got to let your barber know. And the first one you want to do is go for the skin taper. So we're talking about a skin taper, not a skin fade. They're different. The skin taper allows you to keep the sides of your head darker, which is essential for growing out your hair. So especially with my people, our hair grows 90 degrees. That's why you have a spiky poofy look until it has a lot of weight to it and then it'll flop down. You don't need that extra length right here. You just need it more up here for that flow. So if your barber is good enough, you can just keep doing low skin skin tapers until your hair grows out to the length that you want and then you have other solutions so that is why skin tapers are important you're still gonna get that post haircut clarity confidence especially if you get lined up it's still gonna feel like you got a great haircut but your hair is growing out and then once your hair gets really long you want to tell your barber to layer your hair and so when you layer it it helps thin out the hair but also gives you shape and texture that is the biggest reason why people try to grow out the hair and then they give up and so those are the reasons why you look bad in your haircuts Take it from me personally, slight tweaks is all that you need to do, but they make the biggest difference. So if you found this video helpful, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, and until then, stay fly, deuces.